Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. And um, I came to small realization last time after mining up all the titanium. I thought I thought I'll go back and just start making the towers, but then I realized that we need a couple of more components. We need titanium alloy and we need uh, particle containers which means we still need to build two more resources. We need to make sulfuric acid from which we will make titanium alloy. And we also need graphene. I completely forgot about that. So we're going to make three input lines right here. One, there's going to be water. This is going to be oil. And this is going to be stone. I'm going to set these uh, chemical plants. One. We need nine of them. I'm not sure if we can fit nine in one line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Phew. Barely. The reason why we have nine, we're going to need eight stone for one chemical plant. And that is the nine chemical plants is the maximum we can take on one mark 2 belt let's just double check so we need eight stone six oil four water the resource that you need the most for the facility um that material should be first next right next to your assembly okay and then next one is going to be oil and the next water because of the numbers right let's uh, get in the water At every opportunity I have, I try to put as many turbines wherever I can. Sometimes they're in the way and I don't use turbines, I just use Tesla towers. But whenever you can, especially when I set like like here, when I set miners, I just put one here. And that basically takes care of the needs for the miners. And I technically don't need additional power, but I still connect everything into one network. I uh, know I built an ugly high belt, but it's okay. This setup anyway for sulfuric, sulfuric acid and graphene that we're going to be setting up, it's going to be temporary until we get to go to further away planets. We're going to get a uh, better recipe so we can build components more easily. We got quite a bit of oil piled up over here. So we're going to try to do something about these belts and divert a little bit more of that traffic into our sulfuric acid production. This whole oil setup is a mess. Um, yeah, uh, it happens. I'm just gonna fix it as the problems show up. Now let's add stone to this setup. Let's just put an output belt. Stone in oil in water in sulfuric acid out all right we get sulfuric acid let's put it in a container um in liquid container because we're gonna need it for a couple different items let's just store it uh we'll need it for titanium alloy and for the graphene 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 that one yeah um titanium alloy uh quickly set it up right here as well um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're gonna need one, two, three, four. That will be enough. I don't have titanium alloy unlocked yet. Oh, dummy. It doesn't need, um, <laughs> it doesn't need assembler. It needs a smelter. One, two, three, four. Power. Uh, this mistake happens sometimes. Sometimes you think something needs assembler, but then it needs, no, it needs something else. <laughs> Yep, so it's gonna need three resources. We can take Mach 2 belt. Let's just put Mach 1, that's fine. These, and then we need steel and titanium. Which one do we need more? So we need um, 8, 4, and 4. So it doesn't matter which one goes first. Let's just take titanium next because we will oh we ran out okay we're gonna have to do another run to a planet let's make some spaghetti 
one line here and then we're gonna need one line of steel coming from the other direction i'm gonna set that up in a minute and then on this side we're gonna have output and we're gonna store we're gonna put small box because again this is one of the things that is it is a very temporary setup right here all of these they're gonna go away but still uh, let's try to be as uh, organized as we can <laughs> although it's a huge mess already anyway let's put a bell um sorters on copy Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, uh, now we need steel setup. How many do we need? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Smelters. So we're also going to need four steel smelters. Let's set those up. And conveniently we have set up here. I, I think I set it up in one of the first days. I just went around the planet and kind of put miners on, on all the iron and copper and all that. Which way was it? Over there. Okay. Um, so, one belt. So, these will be steel. These will, uh, sorry, this will be iron. And these will be steel. Um, sorters. In. Out. In and out. Copy. And why is it not working? Ah, right. One stupid little tiny belt. <laughs> it happens. I I think I totally messed this one up. We need to reverse direction on this one. And let's feed this one. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick run for titanium. And we see our landing strip. I'm not sure which direction. Oh, the opposite direction. Anyway. Whoopsie. Make sure we get some in here as well. I'll just stop these for a second so it doesn't go so fast. And upgrade this one. Uh, we don't have enough. It's okay. Anyway, um... Titanium alloy is set up. The production is going to be slow, but we don't need titanium alloy that much. We literally need it only f to produce a couple of um, interstellar logistics stations. This is the only reason we need titanium alloy right now. And one more thing we need is graphene. Now, this is going to need a sulfuric acid as well, but I'm going to build that in... Hmm, hold on. So we need graphene, and then we will be able to produce... Particle containers. Oh, I just realized something. I think um, the mecha core is blinking because the fuel is really low. I think this is the new thing. I think this is a new feature in the game. I don't think it blinked before like that. Anyway, um, should we build this today or the next episode? You know what? I'm going to let the uh, sulfuric acid pile up a little bit and titanium alloy pile up. And yeah, I'm going to build this next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. If you like to see more of me playing Dyson Sphere program. And yeah, bye bye.